to the house of God uh -huh. now for your own soul's sake. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff necked, hard headed people. Uh -huh. There are separate people to the Lord that God. Why? Because we keep the law that said the Lord. That's the law. We live together as people. We come together the Lord's sheep in the house of Israel. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this bite. Right? Okay, So in this last day, the mass is raising up the true prophets of hell. So today what we're trying to do is make sure we're helping our people to let you know you so-called blacks around here that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. We're going to show you history books. We're going to show you the Bible where it says that. Do me a favor. Give me um, Ezekiel 3. Start with verse 11. Let's show our people the history, where they come from, who they are. Because you got to understand one thing. We're coming for the captive, but you also got to understand one thing is that what? You are not saved like you may think you are, yes, like you sir. might have been taught that you are not saved. We're going to show you in the Bible. Bring it Ezekiel out. 3 and 11. Let's bring this out real quick. Let's Ezekiel. see what prophet Ezekiel said. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 11. Go ahead. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. Get what? To them of the captivity. What that mean, brother? You know who captive are? You ever heard of captivity? You never heard of captivity. The Bible tells us to go get them that are in captivity. Read. Unto the children. And to who? Unto the children uh -huh. of thy people. And they're the children of thy people. Keep going. And speak unto them. And do what? And speak unto them. This is why we're on a corner of Penn and North speaking unto our people. It says speak unto them. Read. And tell them, thus saith the Lord God. Tell them what? Thus saith the Lord God. We have to tell you, thus saith the Lord thy God. Read. Whether they will hear. Whether you're going to listen, whether you're going to stand in front of us or not. Go ahead. Or whether they will forbear. Or whether you say, forget what these brothers are saying. These brothers is a bunch of niggas. We're going to teach you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. Give me Matthew 24. Let's bring this out. Let's see what Jesus Christ was teaching. Because again, everybody says today, I love Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the God. But when he was walking this earth, you hated him. We all understand these things. Read. Matthew 24, start with verse 1. Matthew 24, verse 1. Go ahead. And Jesus went out. And what? And Jesus went out. And, and Jesus went out. Go ahead. And departed from the temple. He departed from where? From the temple. So Christ was keeping the Sabbath. He departed from the temple. Go ahead. And his disciples came to him. So he had people that listened to him, that followed him, that spoke with him. Read. For to show him the building. Show him what? The building uh -huh. of the temple. Of the what? Of the temple. So they said, Christ, show us the building of the temple. How do we build the temple up? What you got to understand is you brothers that smoking, cigarettes, doing, drugs, all these things. You what? You're tearing down your temple. You understand what that means, sister? What does it mean to tear down your temple? Not taking care of yourself. So the sister has understanding. So they disciples asked what? Came to him. For to show him the buildings of the temple. Go ahead. And Jesus said unto them. What Christ say? See ye not all these things. See ye not all these things that's going on around here. Brothers and sisters walking by. Not paying attention. We're trying to reteach you. Trying to relearn you. You find the selling on the Sabbath day. You should not be doing that thus saith the Lord. That's right. Read. Verily I say unto you. There shall not be left here one stone upon another. Say that again. There shall not be left here one stone upon another. So we cannot let you walk by and just do anything that you want to do. Right. We have to tear down these strongholds of what we've been taught. Right. What we're going to teach you today of what? You are not saved. Understand these things. That's right. Keep going. That shall not be thrown down. That shall not what? Be thrown down. It can't be thrown down unless the prophets are here. You understand what I'm saying, brother? Unless the prophets come, nothing can be thrown down. So that's why we are here to show you love. What's your name, brother? You see us all the time, right? Yeah. Let me, hey, talk to me for a second. Let me holler at you. I got you. Keep going. 
And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Go ahead. The disciples came unto him privately. They did what? Saying, tell us, when shall these things be? Uh-huh. And what shall be the sign? And what shall be the sign? Read. Of thy coming. Of thy what? Of thy coming. Understand this, brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ, a black man, is coming back. Yes, sir. He said, what shall be the signs of his coming? You seeing it right now, brother. Give me Isaiah 30 and 20 real quick, and then we're going to go back to that. Bring it up. I see you out here a lot, brother. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You see this on the sign right here, right? You would say this was how long? You know what? All praise to the most how you took your hat off and you show respect. I appreciate that. You see this on the sign of us being in captivity and slavery, right? So we know about the slavery of the so-called black man, do we not? We don't know too much about the slavery of the so-called Northern Kingdom of Hispanic man. But we're told by who that we are saved. Who tells us that we saved? The white man tells us that. Who else though? The Christian church taught the white man to say that we are saved. Now the Bible says that we are not saved right now. But guess what? What you have today is the saviors are here today. Give me right. Nehemiah, Nehemiah 9 and 27. I'm gonna show you something. God sent us to be saviors for our people. That's what we're here for, okay? Give me that. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 27. And I'm gonna yeah. show you some historical pictures and images. And I'm gonna show you today with the Bible and with the sources behind that Bible to show you that they know who you are today too. They tell you they know who you are, but they in books that's not in this library. Read that. Therefore, thou deliverest them. Thou did what? Deliverest them. Go ahead. Into the hand of their enemies. So we was delivered into the hand of our enemies. Why? Because we weren't keeping God's laws. That's the main thing. That's what the church forgot to teach us, that we wasn't keeping God's laws. Go ahead. Who vexed them? What? Who vexed so them? So, you, do you have any children? Boy, son, girl, how, uh, how old you? She's 20. She at that age. I got a dog, 21. She don't want to listen to you, do she? She vexed you. And you can't whoop her like you used to whoop her, because she's a what? Older woman. She's a grown woman. But she vexed you, right? Well, guess what God did to vex us? Read that. And in the time of their trouble. In the time of what? Their trouble. In the time of our slavery, in the time of our trouble, go ahead. When they cried unto thee. When we cried, like we're doing now. We're crying unto our brothers. We out here on the corner with our brothers. Brother South, I say, well, you brothers was always out there with a lot of people. Well, we come out here with two people to talk to you. We out here for our people. That's what we right. here for. You understand right. what I'm saying? Read. Thou heardest them from heaven. See, God hear us. God hear you. God see you. You ain't just walk by here for no reason. He see you because he said, I'm going to show this brother something that he always had a question about. Read. And according to thy manifold mercy, uh -huh. thou gavest them Savior. They gave what? Gave us them Savior. God gave Savior. That's who we are today. We are trying to show you how to save your life for real. That's Not right. just by confessing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, right. because we was delivered into our enemies. We got to understand, what does that mean to be saved, Reed? Who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. So what does it truly mean to be saved, brother? Huh? Okay, why you ain't, you say you are atheist, so you don't believe in God. Why don't you don't believe in God? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna show you where you come from in the Bible. Now you say you are atheist, so that means you don't believe in the Bible at all, right? Now, you do believe that we went to slavery. So we're gonna, we're gonna make it basic, right? So you believe that, okay? Deuteronomy 28. So you believe we went to slavery. That's a proven fact. That's a proven fact, right? So now what we gotta prove is that this is a true book, because the word holy, but this is a bunch of stories. So I'm gonna show you a story 2,000 years before it happened. Got you? Okay, read it. No, 28 and one, one and one. I mean, give me Deuteronomy one and one first. Deuteronomy, chapter one and verse one. Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake. So we gotta understand that Moses was a real person. I know you said, okay, you believe Moses was a real person? I don't No, no, do you believe he was a real person? We get to that. Do you believe he was a real person? So you believe he was a real person, right? Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All who? All Israel. It don't say all blacks. It don't say all Hispanics. It don't say all white folks. It say all Israel. Right? So do you believe that Israel is a real people? The children of Israel. You believe Moses is real? 
So, it is a nation of Israel. And this is what we're doing here. We're going to show you that you are part of the nation of Israel. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to show you the facts. Now go to the, go to the verse. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee. And the Lord what? Shall bring thee. Shall bring thee. Into Egypt. Into what? Into Egypt. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to raise my voice a little louder so people are behind me here, okay? So I'm not yelling at you, okay? So we're showing the brother our history in the Bible, where we truly come from. The Bible says that the Lord shall bring what? Bring thee into Egypt again. Where was Moses at when the children of Israel went into slavery? Tell me from your history. From what you think, go ahead. With who? The people that was oppressing them was the Pharaoh or the Egyptians. So I'm going to show you something right there. So I want you now, because you seem like you're a smart brother, so I want you to pay attention. If we go about 100 miles from here, probably less, to Washington, D.C., they have a what? A monument there. You know what that is? That's what they had in Egypt. So what they're doing is telling you secretly that we know the children of Israel are here today. Right. That's what they're really telling you. They're telling you, yeah, we know y'all here today. Just like we knew y'all was back then. That's what they're really showing us, because you understand something, it's Egypt and America are the same thing. Spiritually Egypt, read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Meaning again. What? Slavery. Bring you into slavery again. So he's in slavery in Egypt. The Bible prophesies that we're going to go into Egypt again. Look all around the world. Look at America. Who else is like America today? Spiritually Egypt. You don't know. Ain't nobody. It's like the Egyptians at that time was ruling things. They ruling things now, which is today, which is Esau. He copies and gets everything from them. Bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. What people came on slave ships? Somebody help me out. I got elderly man out here. Who? Huh? Hold up. So we came on slave ships. Is that true? That's a fact? It's a fact in the Bible. That's right. You just heard it out the Bible. So can you go against that? How? He's telling this story. He's he telling this story that was going to happen years and years before it happened? Or is he prophesying what's going to happen to his people? Remember, he said, I'm a sin savior. That's a fact that the Bible has said that. So that's right. one thing you should have said. You know what? I think all this stuff is false about the Bible. But I just found out today that the Bible prophesies that we will go in slave ships. And you agree that we were going slave ships. You agree that we came in a slave ship. So that's one fact you do know out the Bible, correct? Read. With ship. With what? With ship. With ship. Keep on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. I did what? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Keep on. Thou shalt see it no more again. We would not see our home, Jerusalem, anymore again. Why? Because we forgot where we come from. That's why we won't see it no more. Bring we won't up. see it no more physically because we don't live like we from Jerusalem. We don't walk like we from Jerusalem. Right. You know how we walk and live? Like Gentiles, what they call it today, Americans. Right. Blacks, right. Hispanics, that's what right. they call it today. Read. And there you shall be sold. You shall be what? Sold. We were sold, brothers and sisters. We were sold. Go ahead. Unto your enemies. Unto your who? Unto your enemy. So we were sold unto our enemies. Somebody has to redeem us from our enemies. Go back to where we was at, Nehemiah. We got to understand, we are not saved like we think we are. But Christ did do one thing. He did send saviors. That's what you see today. Read. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 27. Go ahead. Therefore, thou deliverest them. Thou did what? Deliver us there. Because we wasn't listening. Because we would see the prophets on the corners and walking right by them and not paying attention. Because we want to get answers to our questions and we give you the answers and you say, you know what, I don't agree with it because I wasn't taught that by my so-called enemy. Right. Because you think it's your so-called enemy. You're not understanding. It is your enemy. Right. Read. Thou deliver us them into the hand of their enemy. Into what? The hand of their enemy. Keep going. Who vexed them? He did what? Vexed them. Uh -huh. And in and in the time of their trouble. In the time of their troubles. When they cried unto thee. Uh huh. Thou heardest them from heaven. We're being heard right now. We crying. Keep going. And according to thy manifold mercies. 
Thou gavest them saviors. You gave us them what? Saviors. You was given saviors. Give me 1 Corinthians 4. So we got to understand something, because I see you paying attention to brother. Do you feel like you were a slave? Why do you say you were a slave? Talk to me. The conditions that I live in. The conditions you live in. All praise. We're going to show you something. We're going to show you more than that. We're going to show you what it really means to be a slave, right? Give me that 1 Corinthians 4. Bring it out. Start with verse 9. Let's go. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Go ahead. For I think that God had set forth us. Said what? God had set forth, forth us. Uh huh. The apostles last. He set forth us, the apostles, the teachers. Another word for that is the man to show you as Savior. He set forth us. Go ahead. As it were appointed to death. To what? As it were appointed to death. So guess what? We here for that. We love our people. We're going to teach our people. Yes, Whether sir. we get put to death or not, we're coming out here every Sabbath. Right. And sooner or later, we're going to be out here every day right. to teach our people. Thus saith the Lord. Read. For we are made a spectacle. We made what? A spectacle. A lot of people look at us and say, look at them niggas on the corner. They don't know what they're talking about. But instead of you coming to deal with the prophets, it's a problem. What are we talking about? We're talking about saving our people, brother. That's, That's what, what we're talking about. Read it again. For I, top. for I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, last. He set forth us, the apostles, last. Go ahead. As it were appointed to death. As it what? Were appointed to death. Speak it louder, brother. Let's go. As it were appointed to death. When somebody walks by and say, what are you talking about? We're talking about thus saith the Lord. Yes, We're trying to save your behind. Keep going. For we are made a spectacle unto the world uh -huh. and to angels. And to who? And to angels. Keep going. And to men. Uh -huh. We are fools for Christ's sake. Yes, sir. We are fools for Christ's sake. We're going to teach for Christ's sake, just like Christ taught, just like Paul taught. Peter, Luke, John, all of them, even Noah. Read. But ye are wise in Christ. You are what? Wise in Christ. We are wise in Christ. But what that's actually talking about is the Corinthians. That's what they're really talking about, them. They was wise in Christ. Jump down to verse 11. Verse 11. Because the topic of today is slavery. Yes, brothers and sisters, we are still enslaved today. Even though you feel like you're walking around here free, you're going to find out that you are not free. Read. Verse 11. Even unto this present hour. Even what? Unto this present hour. What does that mean, brother? Present. The word present. You got past, present, future. Even unto right now. Read. We both hunger. We both what? Hunger. We got people that come on the corner. They got to give us food. Why we not taking care of ourselves like we used to do back in the day? Why we not keeping God's law? So we hungry. We got to go to them for food. Read. And thirst. We got to go to them for water. Let me show you something. We got a water bottle here. I had to get this from somewhere else. Why? Because I don't have my own water factory. I got to go to the store to get this and fill it up. So we both thirst. Go ahead. And are naked. And are what? Are naked. We don't have our own textile company. We got brothers like FUBU, Sean John. What's the other black ones they got? I don't know all of them. That's back in my time. Remember that? We had that and we thought we had some. But who do we have to go get it made from? Japan, China, somewhere else. We don't have our own tax now. So that's showing you that we're still in what? Slavery until this present hour, read. And I buffeted. Uh-huh. And have no certain dwelling place. We don't even know where we can go. We call so-called African American. That ain't nowhere. Now watch this. I want to give you the definition of slave. I want you to start from in back, in a bass, right there. We're going to give you some history books as well as the Bible to show you that they already know. They're going to tell you that you were a damn slave. Read. This is from how did American slavery begin? How did what? American slavery begin. How did American slavery begin? It never stopped. I hear, I know you hear it across the street. Read. By Andrew Gutchman. By who? Andrew Edward Countryman. Go ahead. Page six. In a vast sweeping comparison uh -huh. of world slave system. Uh -huh. Sociologist Orlando Patterson. So if you got a time and you got a chance, get your phone out. Google him. 
Google Orlando Patterson. Get your books, pull up a chair, start learning your real history. We has likened slavery to social death. He did what? Likened slavery to social death. He said slavery is like social death. Think about that. Can we go to the courthouse right now and say, I don't like the way my block looks. I need y'all to come clean it up. It's social death. We can't deal with them people. We're not on their level. That's what they're telling us. Read this metaphor offers a way to distinguish slavery from any other kind of subordination. Any what? Of subordination. Of subordination. Now watch this. You got the brother John Moran. You know who that is, right? Never heard of basketball player John Moran? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What he get in trouble for? I ain't in sports, so I don't He had a gun. He had a gun, right? Where was he at with that gun? In the car? In the car? Was he on his own land, or was he on somebody else's land? See, this is the history they ain't telling you. He was on his own land. He had a gun on his land, and a gun carried his state. You understand that, right? Now, it's wrong and stupid for him to do that. Go ahead, brother. He did it twice. That's why I say it. Once he does it, right? Yes, sir. They pulled him in there, they talked to him, and he took the chuck, you know. Yeah, I mean, probably say it's, uh, apologize, whatever. So that first time he did it, where was he at, though? Home? No, no. He was in the strip club the first time he did it. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. In the strip club with that, right? Yeah, with the second time. He, he was on somebody else's property, all right? Yeah, yeah. The second time he did it, he college. was on his own land yeah, in a gun carrying yeah. state in South Carolina <laughs> in a car. Right. Right? Yeah, man, I'm like, Where's the law broken in that? But you gotta understand, the NBA yeah. is the offspring yeah, of the FBI. Yeah. We understand these things, right. but where is the law broken with that? Was he breaking the law when he had his gun on no, his he, land? He, he was bending the rule. He bend the rule why? He didn't break the law. He read that again, what you just read. I'm about to show you. That's why I say it. You got to make sure you listen. He ain't been talking. Read it. His metaphor offers a way to distinguish slavery from any other kind of subordination or degradation. Social death. Go ahead. All society. Now he is a forty million dollar slave. I don't care how much two hundred million dollars he got coming. You still a slave nigga to them. Read. All society have some form of hierarchy. All society had what? Some form of hierarchy. Uh -huh. And all hierarchies involve different higher orders. Do they not say we inferior to them? They try to tell us we slave. So I don't care if you John Moret with two hundred million. Or you was right here standing on this corner. To them, you still a slave yeah. nigga. Right. According to the Bible. You a house But that ain't, go ahead. Involve different degrees of honor, respect, and reward. They want us to honor, respect, and, and be happy when they give us a reward. You the best player in the NBA. They want us to be happy with that. We do a good job. They promote us. We want you to do right. So if you see that brother right there come in and clock in late, you better tell on him. And that's what they do, why? Because they say we are inferior to them. Like Read, watch this, brother. Somebody is always at the bottom. Somebody is what? Always at the bottom. We are always at the bottom. Got you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics. Right. We are always right. at the bottom. Right. Why? Right. Because we broke God's laws. Right. Read. Even in a society that proclaims equality. They say that we equal. Put the book down. They say that we equal, but you look in the Constitution, they say we three-fifths of a man. That's right. How the hell are we equal? That makes no sense. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.